Hello again. Uh, I'm here with a couple more designs. Um, these are based on the uh, Hailstorm cannons that uh, Doc M77 featured in his uh, Hermitcraft video. Um, I can't remember the name of the original designer. Uh, it wasn't Doc. Whatever. Um, <clears throat> but I thought that they looked a little clunky. So I designed a few of my own versions. Uh, this was the first prototype variation of it. Um, as you can see, it works quite nicely. <laughs> yeah, basically what happens here is you just have this. That powers this, which shoots into the trapdoor. Um, this lights off through TNT. Trapdoor goes down. Arrows fly up. Pretty simple. Um, but uh, this has some nasty redstone down there, and it just it sticks out and looks looks weird. So I made this version, which is a little more compact. Uh, this works nicely as well. Same functionality. Um, but it also, um, aside from being able to launch into there, it also has, when you press the button, it shoots five arrows into that automatically. So you can just kind of almost spam just five round burst shots. So that's kind of a nice little feature. Um, and then this is the final version. This is the smallest one, and it also has another TNT dispenser down here. So it actually shoots further as well. Um, also, five round burst. So this final version shoots about 80 blocks away, which is really nice. Um, you can kind of kind of tell from looking at it you've got your this is just a little circuit for uh, dispensing the arrows and then this whole side over here pretty much is the timing circuit for when the trapdoor goes down um, perhaps uh, well actually the thing that I'm most uh, I guess proud of in this is um, the use of this waterlogged trapdoor because like it's it's a little weird like you wouldn't normally see that in things um, but this actually has two functionalities the first thing it does is when TNT is dispensed or when it's ignited for that matter it jumps up about the height of a trapdoor so um, like when these go off you can see that the TNT jumps up and then it falls back right down onto that trapdoor and it just works super nicely. Um, and then also, it allows me to put lava on top of this water without having the water turn to cobblestone. So it's, it's, <laughs> I'm really happy with it. Um, ba basically, the way that this works is the arrows go into the trapdoor, and then when the trapdoor goes down, um, the TNT explodes and all the arrows fly out. So you can kind of watch that happening here. Like that. Um, this lever is pretty self explanatory. You can clearly see what it does. Um, and then the button powers this redstone dust, which powers both of these, these note blocks. Um, this note block activates this mechanism here, shooting five arrows in. That's just how the timing's worked out. If you had a longer pulse from this button, it would actually go on for longer. Um, it, it really shouldn't matter much. Actually, actually, I want to try that, because I haven't tried that yet. I don't even know if it'll still work. Works fine. So if you just lengthen the pulse here, you just shoot more arrows with that first. It's interesting. I didn't think of that until now. Um, and then what this does is it just has this row of pistons and then observers 
So these two observers on the ends go into this block and this block. That powers this, this, and this. And then this middle one powers the one above. So it's pretty straightforward. Oh, and then this goes down into the note block and over to the timing circuit. This just has five items in it. Um, sticky piston, normal piston, uh, sticky piston facing up, observer, four tick repeater, pretty simple stuff, but also pretty effective. Yeah, um, if you're wondering, the craters around here are because this is my giant testing world and I didn't feel like moving these over to a separate world. So, yeah, lots of failed contraptions, <laughs> but this works, and it's nice, small, and functional, so, yeah, have fun with it, next time.